In today's video, we're talking about food. More specifically, Taiwan school lunches. Hi, my name is Leah. Welcome to my channel. If you're interested in what life looks like living and working abroad, this channel's for you. Another great way to explore culture is through its food. I am going to be plating a week's worth of Taiwanese lunches, giving you just a little bit of feedback. If you're interested in coming to Taiwan, you can tell me what you think. Lunch is delivered to the homeroom classrooms and the students will serve themselves outside and then go into the classroom and eat. Here is a typical lunch tray, and this is how things are portioned out. Staple items usually have the largest serving, which goes here. These two side areas are for side dishes, and the middle area right here is for soup. Let's get started. Here's our first meal. Really interesting lunch today. This is blood rice. Another word for it is pig's cake, and it is basically pig's blood, sticky rice, and a soy broth that is usually deep fried and served on a stick, kind of like a popsicle. It's a really popular street food here in Taiwan. Along with this dish are quail eggs, seaweed bowls, this is a bun, obviously, in the shape of a penguin. They're usually filled with something, but I can't identify it until I take a bite. I'm not sure what this is. The paste has like a hint of sweetness, but not a lot. This is a hearty seafood soup with shrimp, fish, squid, onions, and scallions. Mix it together, and it looks like this. And then these all have their own flavors that add to the dish. These noodles can be a choking hazard. They're, they are so thin. <laughs> and of course your greens. I think today's lunch was really great. There were a lot of food items that are unique to Taiwan. I am giving it a six out of 10 for two reasons. There is such a different flavor to blood cake when it is eaten piping hot. The noodles mixed in with the soup was not a good idea for me. I think today's lunch is a good compilation of all the five food groups. Wait a minute. No dairy, but still. Starting with this chicken. The orange that you see is pumpkin. I'm thinking this is gonna have a little bit of a sweet taste to it, but I don't know. The pumpkin really doesn't add any flavor to it. It just adds texture. I would eat it again. This is stir fried shredded pork. This is my first trying it, so I'm not sure what to expect. It's a really nice flavor to it. It's not overpower it's not overpowering. There's definitely like an earthy vegetable taste to it. Cabbage. Wonton soup with pork and vegetables. It was okay. It includes a little blended juice box. On a scale of one to 10, I think that I would give this meal a seven, maybe like an eight. The pumpkin and chicken is original and unique meal. Something that I would never think to put together. Eel is one of my favorite dishes that I have come to love since I've been in Taiwan. I've never eaten a, a bad serving of this stuff ever. It's so good. It's layered in this sauce that has just a hint of sweetness to it. it melts, it just falls apart in your mouth. Rice porridge is good. It has mushrooms, corn, carrots, but I'm not a fan. Not because it's not good. I don't eat rice that much. Gotta get those greens in. And then for our snack, this which is like a fish floss. It's like a dried fish that's been shredded. Overwhelmingly strong fish smell. It's salty, crunchy, tastes like fish, smells like fish. I would not want to go in public with this anywhere. Okay, there you go. I'm gonna give this meal seven out of 10. Definitely a 10 out of 10 for the eel and for the greens. I can appreciate how rice porridge would be something to look forward to in colder weather, but it's December and it's 86 degrees here in Taiwan. Okay, here we go. Chicken. Definitely chicken breast, braised pork leg. I don't know what it's seasoned with. I guess we'll find out. Not heavily seasoned. Really gives you an opportunity to taste the pork. Rice with oats. And of course we have our greens. Today's soup is vegetable tofu. December is actually strawberry season. The perfect weather for growing these. I've never lived in a country where the fruit has been so incredibly sweet and juicy. They are so good. I've never tasted rice with the oats before and I like the mixed textures and the fruit 
will always be my favorite. This smell was delicious. Taiwan has a really good variety of lunches. The lunches don't repeat themselves. The soups are usually always different. The fruits are usually always different. I really enjoy looking forward to something new. Checking out today's lunch, it looks like we have chicken, noodles, greens, soup, and a side of grapes. I think I'm gonna start first with the mian noodles with chicken, just because it's something that looks different that I don't think that I've had before. First things first, I was mistaken. This is not me in. What I think are noodles are actually mushrooms. I also taste bamboo. Now I'm wondering if I'm right about the meat. Not chicken, it's pork. So I was wrong on all fronts. For the dark leafy greens, I love the way that they're cooked, but they still have a little bit of crunch to them. The soup today is egg and seaweed. I have not learned how to eat chicken with chopsticks. The chicken has been flavored with what tastes like five-star anise. It's like cinnamon and licorice mixed together. I used to love the smell and the taste of five-star anise, but I'm kind of burned out with it because they use it in everything in Vietnam and it's to the point now and I'm like, ah. So I won't be finishing the chicken, but I will finish the grapes. lunch was a fail. I couldn't identify anything correctly but the grapes and too many things took me by surprise. Five out of ten. There are a lot of things in this menu that I have never tasted before. Matter of fact, I think the rice and the vegetables are the only thing that I'm familiar with. Everything else is new. Let's start with the pork. It's really, really dry. I don't know if this is actually a cucumber soup or that's what the English translation is. These are actually cooked cucumbers. All right. Japanese Hane Maru. It only has a tiny bit of sweetness on it because of the sauce. But you definitely taste the seaweed and this is a um, meat, I think. <gasps> Dessert! Yeah. These things are amazing. In the middle, there is ice cream. I think for today's lunch, I'm gonna give it like six out of 10. Still tastes delicious. For me, the main dish was a pork. There is pork in the cucumber soup. And I believe the honey maru was also a pork meat. For the variety, it's lacking a little bit. Today's lunch, pork, pork dumplings, greens, mushroom soup, and a dessert. The main course today is pork and the rice is underneath it, but you can see that this pork is so succulent. It's peppered in with a little bit of vegetables. You have some potatoes and you have some carrots to try to give it this healthy balance. The side dish today is pork dumplings with garlic and green onions on top. Of course, you have your greens and then you have your really dessert. Uh, bean paste to be in the middle of this. This is straight up chocolate. Oh, it's delicious. I really enjoyed this meal. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. It was really pronounced in your mouth. It just bursts with flavor. So I love trying new foods. Is there anything that you'd be willing to try in this week's school lunches? Leave a comment in the feedback box below. Did you know that there is the most random things that you need to be able to identify and bring to school in order to be prepared for class? You'd be surprised. Watch this next video.